This episode is supported by Mountain Khakis. Work hard, play harder. And Waterlocks. Waterlocks lets wood be beautiful for more than 100 years. I'm about to cut this section of the floor out, and when I put the floor down about 15 years ago, I used galvanized screws, which apparently wasn't the best choice because more than half of the screws broke as I was trying to remove them. Probably a better choice would be epoxy covered deck screws, but regardless, I'm going to be hitting screws when I cut the floor out, which means I'm going to waste a blade, I'm going to make a lot of noise, probably some sparks. So I've got my eye protection, my mask, I'm going to put in some earplugs. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I just finished the first part, or I'm calling this phase one of my dust collection system. You can see the pipe goes here, goes into a splitter. This will be for my joiner. Right now I'm just putting a cap on it because the main thing for me was to get the table saw. I've got a shut off here or a gate for the table saw. This is something I had. I used to have a dust collection system in the basement when my shop was there about 15 years ago. So now I am running the pipe under the floor and it will go into the table saw. Right now I'm about to use the jigsaw to cut a little hole here or a little kind of a U shape.
Well, it's a new day, and as you can see, I've got a new drum sander. This is the 1836 by Jet. I'm not going to get into this now. I want to use it for a few weeks or a few months, uh, but I will have a video that I'll post next week where I unbox and assemble it. It's really nice to have the dust collection system started. It's definitely not finished. I will be adding to it, maybe changing it, but I would say the bulk of the work is behind me with the dust collector now in the shed and the dust collector hooked up to the table saw, which is really my main tool that I wanted to have dust collection on. I will be eventually adding the joiner and then I'll be working on the dust collection on this side of the shop. Right now I've got something just kind of rigged up on the new sander, but that's not going to stay the way it is. I just set it up like that so I can test it out. Uh, but I will be adding dust collection to the miter saw, the sander, and the band saw, and that'll be over the next couple of weeks. What I really want to do is get started on my next project. But I thought I'd talk a little bit about the dust collection system and why I moved the shop, just in case any of those questions came up while you were watching the video. So I moved the wood shop out to the barn 15 years ago. Originally I was doing some welding in here and then I just realized that the bulk of my income was coming from woodworking and artwork. So I basically just put the welding thing on hold for a while. The bluestone floor, uh, that worked great for metal work because you could drop a heavy piece of steel and it wouldn't damage the floor. You could just drop it right on the stones. Uh, but when I decided to move the wood shop in here, that's when I put the floor in. I used two by six uh, pressure treated joists for the floor joists. And I think that's enough because it's just me in the shop here, a few machines, and the two by six is basically bottom out on the bluestone. If, if you didn't have the uh, bluestone there, obviously you'd want to go heavy, but it's been 15 years and I haven't had a problem. I decided not to run a ground wire over the ductwork or the PVC for the dust collection system. And the reason why I did that was I, I posed the question on Instagram and enough guys got back to me basically saying it's really not necessary. And to be honest with you, I just didn't want to put in uh, the extra time or the extra work. So I decided not to do it. Uh, with a shop this small, I don't think I'll have any problems. And, and that seems to be the census of opinion. So um, it's really nice to have dust collection. I used the table saw uh, with the dust collector on and it's what a difference. It's not very loud. I still need to add a switch to the, to the, the computer, um, but I still need to add a switch to the dust collector. Basically, I'm just going to put it on the outlet, but the dust collector is running right now, and you can tell it's, it's not very loud in the uh, shop here. I may still decide to do a mo control. Um, that's another one of those things where I may or may not do it. Some people uh, think that it's just a really handy thing to just keep next to your tools. Like I can see having it in the center of the fence here, but um, I'm gonna turn that off. But anyway, just to get started, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's gonna be nice to get to work on Tuesday where I, when I start my next project. This will be my big project for the fall, or my first of three big projects and that's going to be what's called a server. Um, some people confuse the word server with a computer server. It's actually like a place to store dishes. It's something my wife asked for. It's a dining server maybe, but it's gonna be uh, basically a, a pretty simple cube that will be maybe 24 by 16 by 50 with legs. It'll have a mid-century modern feel and that project will start on Tuesday. So I just wanted to wrap up the dust collection project so on Tuesday I can get in here and get to work. So if you guys have any questions on this project, leave them in the comments and maybe I'll shoot a second kind of a follow-up video. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great holiday weekend and I'll see you soon.